Hello, everyone, and welcome to, yet again, another Friday new product post. Um, first order of business, I'm actually going to be going on vacation, so next week you will not see me sitting in this chair. You will see Nick. Uh, you've seen Nick before in product posts, among other things, so, well, give him good comments and be very welcoming. He will be explaining new products for the week. Um, for right now, let's talk about the products for this week. First up, we've got this. This is the SparkFun Magnet Wire Kit. It consists of three different spools of varying lengths of magnet wire. We've got 200 feet of 30 gauge. We've got 75 feet of 26 gauge. And then 40 feet of 22 gauge. Now, for those of you not familiar with magnet wire, magnet wire is just a um, you know basic copper wire but it has an insulation on the outside. It's not a typical insulation that you find on most wires. It's actually like this, um, just this thin coating on the outside. And the reason why you would want that is, let's say you have an inductor or a transformer or some kind of voice coil, you know, something that you need to wrap a f coil of wire around something, um, you don't want the wire to touch and to, you know, short itself out. So magnet wire is used in winding inductors, winding transformers, um, voice coils inside speakers, um, solenoids, electromagnets, things like that. So you take this, you know, take your thing, wind it around it, and then you get your coil. So that is what magnet wire is useful for. And with these three different sizes, you should be able to make all sorts of different things with this. And we've actually got a little demo to show you what we've done with the magnet wire. Hey, it's Nick, and I'm going to show you a demo of something you can do with our new magnet wire kit. Uh, when I found out we were carrying magnet wire, I thought that it would be a good excuse to um, play with some speakers. Uh, if you're not familiar with the way that a speaker works, it's essentially just an electromagnet uh, up against a larger magnet. So um, it's really simple to make your own, and I thought that's what I'd do as a demo. Um, I started by taking some of our 30 gauge wire and just wrapping a coil around a large steel bolt. And that gives you an electromagnet. I didn't really measure to see uh, how many times I was wrapping this coil. Um, at the end, I did end up with uh, 8 ohms impedance, which is pretty common for a speaker. That was totally by accident. I just kept going until I didn't feel like doing it anymore. Um, I took that coil and I uh, bolted it inside of this plastic enclosure that I cut out of some clear acrylic. And then in the very front here, I've taken a piece of a plastic bag and hot glued it in place and then took some neodymium magnets, some of our um, really small rare earth magnets, and stuck them on there. Um, this speaker is essentially built backwards. Not a lot of speakers are made this way with a stationary coil and uh, magnets on the diaphragm itself. And, um, but it is cool to be able to see the way that a speaker works because this is essentially the same mechanism as your standard loudspeaker. Um, what you will notice, however, is uh, I have this being driven by the amp out of some computer speakers, and it takes a non-trivial amount of power to get this thing to put out any sound whatsoever. I'll go ahead and hook it up, and uh, we'll see if you can take a listen to it. So after I built that speaker, I uh, sat back and thought about it for a second, uh, like you might do, and uh, realized that it, it doesn't uh, really make sense as far as the way that an actual speaker is built. Uh, when you look at a real loudspeaker, what you're actually going to find inside is that uh, inside the frame, there's this sort of bouncy thing called the spider, and uh, there's a coil connected to that. And on the front of the coil is the diaphragm of the speaker. That's the front part that you can actually see. So the coil is the part that's connected to the diaphragm, and the magnet stays stationary in the back of the speaker. I wanted to try to build a speaker that was more like that and uh, maybe do it with some materials that uh, you could find around the house so you could try this at home. Um, while our videographer was off getting his camera equipment together, I threw this thing together in 15 minutes. So um, it's an easy project, uh, it's something you can do at home, and it's a pretty cool exploration into how speakers actually work. Um, so what I've done is I've taken a paper, a waxed paper cup, you could do this with a styrofoam cup. Um, and on the back, or on the bottom of the cup, I've uh, taped a coil. Now, this coil of wire, again, I just wrapped it 
as many times as I felt like. I just wrapped it around three fingers and just kept going until um, I was tired of wrapping. Um, at the end, I measured it. It's about six ohms, um, 30 gauge wire. So uh, I just taped it up so that it would stay in one piece and taped it to the back of the cup. I used some polyimide tape. Don't do that at home. Polyimide tape is expensive and you really don't need it here. Use some masking tape or some scotch tape or something. Um, and then uh, you'll need a really strong magnet as well. So I used a hard drive magnet because I just happen to have one sitting on my desk. Um, a nice strong refrigerator magnet might do it or the sort of magnet you use to pick up screws and bolts off of uh, shop floor. That kind of thing is what you're going to need. The stronger the magnet, um, the louder this thing's going to be. So I took the hard drive magnet and I just sort of rested it against the lip of the cup and then uh, taped it in place as well. Um, so when I plug this in, what's going to happen is uh, as the sound comes from the amplifier through this connector, it's going to charge up this coil and the coil will be attracted to or repelled from the magnet um, as the sound goes through. And since the coil is taped down nice and securely to the bottom of this cup, it'll vibrate the bottom of that cup, which will act like a speaker diaphragm. And since we are in the bottom of a uh, paper cup, this sort of acts like a horn and uh, amplifies the sound a little bit more so you can actually hear what's going on. We'll hook this up too and uh, I'll let you see what that sounds like. And lastly, we've got this. This is a very small and very easy to use 2.4 gigahertz antenna. The nice thing about this antenna is it's just this um, little adhesive pad. It's just a very small, very thin um, PCB with a long wire on the end and then you have a UFL connector. And it just has this 3M adhesive, so you just take that off, stick it to what you're trying to adhere it to, and you have this nice little antenna. You can use this for Wi-Fi, XB, Bluetooth, anything that's a 2.4 gigahertz signal and has a U.FL connector. Um, as an example, we've got this. This is the um, Wi-Fi shield connected to an Arduino. And we'll just attach it right there. Snap it in place. And there you go. Now we have an antenna for our Wi-Fi shield. So if you're enclosing this, you could just you know attach this inside the enclosure, as long as the enclosure isn't metal. Um, makes just for a really easy, handy antenna if you don't want, you know, those traditional antennas sticking up. You can um, just use this. It's a lot cleaner looking. So, check out the antenna. So, there you have it. Another Friday new product post. We've got the antenna, we've got the magnet wire, and we have a few more products on the website. So, check out the whole new product post, and I will see you back again in two weeks. And uh, we'll have more new products next week and more new products after that. See you then.